Welcome to a new video of mine. Last week I talked about having trouble sleeping, having the strange dreams and many more things. I would like to add a new thing that has been going on for already a few days now and is also related to the energies at play, what's going on now, the transformation of the body, uh, our genes being changed, transformed, the genome code being rewritten. <clears throat> and you can imagine, and you don't need to have seen sci-fi movies about it, but you can imagine that when there's a huge transformation in the body, it will have its effect, that things will not always move very smoothly. It's like when there's a huge reconstruction of a road, traffic will have problems. So, what's going on? Well, joints. All the parts that move in your body can be affected. And mainly elbows at this moment. But it can also be hands, can be knees, um, ankles, but actually even literally these little parts in your fingers or in your toes. It can be really annoying. And you can even feel muscle fever or you can feel it in your back. So what's going on? Well, transformation. So what can you do about it? Not much, maybe, depends how you see it. From my perspective, you can do a lot actually. You can take time to allow your body to rest, to allow the transformation to take place without forcing your body because taking medication, not feel the pain, and then go do things is not healthy. Why? Because the medication will not solve the pain source. It will kill the pain, you will not feel the pain, but the source of the pain is a transformation. So can you imagine that I'm trying to repave a road and you want to come with 50 trucks running 100 kilometers 80 miles or 70 miles an hour over that road you will kill me or you will create a huge mess you will leave trails in the fresh asphalt and the fresh pavement so it doesn't work that's why it's so important to listen to your body if your body is telling you ow this hurts listen to it stop ignoring it stop forcing i don't know i can't go no. And some people say, ah, no, 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 but I can do it because when I want to train for a marathon or for the Olympics or... Okay. Have you checked how many of the top athletes of the world are actually still healthy when they're in the 30s and the 40s? How healthy are they? If you go and check, you will see that all those people who pushed the limits and pushed far behind the limits. They're getting complications. <clears throat> yes, they won the medals. Okay, great for the egos, they have a medal. Oh, but actually I cannot pick up my child or my grandchild. Because back in the days I... Yeah. You see where this is going? Top results in sports are about ego. <clears throat> they're not about having fun, they're not about being healthy, they're about ego. Look, I'm better than you. I was very happy that both Argentina and Portugal got kicked out of the World Cup very, very quick because the rivalry between their two stars, especially one of them, is super 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 arrogant and I'm happy every time he loses because I hope that one day he will realize that being arrogant will not lead to anything good that people don't like you because you're arrogant that people like what you do well but they don't like your arrogance and if you're super arrogant and you still achieve a lot they will still like you 
But the day you stop achieving and you're still arrogant, they will spit on you, they will forget you, or they will just sell you out. So, coming back, it's very important to take good care of your body, to take enough rest, to feed it well. So there are plenty of good dietists who will actually check what's good for you personally and not take a paper that they already have in the drawer, give it to you and make you pay for it or yeah, ask you a few simple questions and then tell you a standard thing that you should do. Well, that's not how it works. But the best thing is that you yourself listen. And when you really listen to your body, you can feel what you need. Suddenly you will feel the need to eat a certain thing or drink a certain thing. But normally you don't feel. Normally you don't do. Well, this is your body telling me like, hey, 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 that thing there, I need it. I need it to build, to transform, to heal, to repair. And that, no, 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 that thing, definitely not. You will feel like looking at this thing that you normally like a lot, like, nah, not really now. No, because your body cannot waste energy on dealing with certain products that are actually not healthy for you or that consume too much energy to be processed. So, I've been feeling this pain in my body, mainly in my elbows and going forward into my hands and also in my ankles and my feet and yeah you could say yeah you have a weak ankle yeah but actually I don't have a weak elbow so I know it's not just that I did something wrong because I feel it everywhere and last weekend I really felt like muscle fever so I rested physically and I must say today um, I was not feeling fit when I woke up but I didn't feel the pain as much. At least the muscle fever is gone and I have much less pain in my joints. So I know this is a phase that is just passing by and yeah, then I will be able to go and have my walk one, two hours or so or whatever. So please listen to your body, not for me, do it for you. And you know that when you really listen well to your body, you know exactly what to do and you will be fitter, feel better, have more fun, being able to do more fun stuff. So yeah, listen. Very important. Looking forward to your feedback, to your comments. And if you're experiencing something that you feel like, hey, I didn't do anything wrong and now I'm having this discomfort in my body, just ask me. I can tune in and do some digging and see if this is something common that's going on, it's about the moment or not. And if I feel like, oh, this is nothing common and this is really personal, yeah, I will reply to you like, hey, go see a physician because I don't get any information from anywhere telling me that, hey, this is something that's very common and going on. Anyway, if you want to be sure, you can always go see a physician and physician will probably tell you, yeah, you need some rest. I mean, when it comes to the symptoms I just described, because it's not just one spot and you can say, ah, yeah, okay, you forced that thing. So yeah, no, it's a little bit everywhere. So take good care of yourself by listening well to your body taking good care of it, and see you in the next video. Before I forget, before you click away, check the link below, Patreon. It's a page I created where you can contribute on a monthly basis so that I can reach my goals, so that I can help other people. You can show your appreciation for what you're getting from me. Uh, you will get exclusive content, things that will help you ride the wave, and not hearing about the wave two weeks later, that there was a wave you could have been riding and would have changed things and improved things in your life. Uh, because I will be talking about what's at play right now in the moment. And many more things. I will also be answering questions. There will be a possibility for webinars. 
So click that link and have a look. You would be helping me and help also a lot of other people because the more people start to donate, the more I can start to do, the more I can start to share uh, through charity work, but also traveling and as actually go and meet the people in person, for example. That's one of my goals, but you will find all that there. And it starts at $2 per month. And for that you already get, actually you get the most important part for $2 a month. And the rest that you're gonna donate is just you appreciating more or wanting a specific extra thing. So click that link and help me make a difference. Thank you.